Church, you all expect to receive something to be bad. Y'all take this information and download it in your GPS because it wants you to win. I wish I had some praises. The only person that's stopping you is you. I'm, don't stop blaming on your neighbor. The only person that's stopping you is you because can't nobody be you. Yeah. I made my mind up. I'm going to invite people every week. I'm going to focus on outreach. I'm going to focus on evangelism. Because that's my number one gift really is evangelism. I have the power of persuasion. Yeah. So we all have the power of persuasion and influence. That's how you got all them kids. I wish I had some praise. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see us. You saw it. You wanted it. Come on. I wish I had some praise. You practice. I wish I had some praise. You overseas.
what is that? I've been bursting today. You're blessed. I wish I had some praise. You might not feel it. You don't have to feel it. Just walk in it. You're blessed coming. You're blessed going. And God going to put you on fast track. I wish I had some praise. He already make it up to you. Something that would take 20 years. God told me to tell you. He's going to do it in a year. I wish I had God that crazy people in here. Just walk away. Turn your life around. So my teacher in Jamaica, we bought him a car. I wish I had some praise and cash. We bought him so he can go preach the gospel. And when we sow one way, God sows another way. We bless and you don't even know it. And every time you sow in somebody's life, it increases your hag state. That's why Paul said, my God, we will supply all of your needs according to his wishes and glory. The key to being blessed is sowing. And we sow into his life. And then God already bless us with some vehicles that we ain't got to pay for. I wish I had some praises in here. I tell you, God will do it. The most of you don't understand how the kingdom works because you're too carnal. You're too buying stuff that you don't need. Huh? Buying stuff that you can't afford. God ain't into all of that. You got to live within your means. You don't need another child. You need to stop trying to be ghetto fabulous and try to look good and impress people who don't like you. I wish I had some praise in If you don't like me, that's all right. Don't start like because all my haters are going to be silent. in Jamaica, I said, talking to him, I hate Jamaica, so he used to be a poor, but I ain't poor, so he keep telling me, yeah, Bishop, they didn't say time, I said, we don't have time, if I go tell you to do something, go do it, because God go back to something, I gotta change the way you think, that's the problem with many of you, you think poor, you ain't really poor, that your mentality is poor, your mentality is ghetto, you ain't really poor, you don't know what poor is, go to Africa, go to Jamaica, you ain't never seen real poverty, you don't know that you're poor, you gotta get off your little block and go see somebody else who don't have nothing. Jamaica. People living in tent huts. You, you, they, would, they would love to have public housing. They would love to have food stamps and whip and all that. You're getting all this help and you still can't get up. I wish I had some praise. God ain't trying to give you no hand out. He's trying to give you a hand up. You don't supposed to do all that stuff forever. You're supposed to get on it and get off it. I wish I had some praise. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no harm in Houston, but that is only temporary. You are a king's kid. And when you learn who you What you say out of your mouth. You ain't ready for no husband because you talk too much. Real king ain't tolerating that foolishness. Thank you. 